wishbone Watch this your dream enough Such big imagination On such a little bug What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kinda seems familiar Like a story from a book Shake a leg now, wishbone Let's wag another tail Sniffing out adventure With wishbone on the trail Come on, wishbone What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? There you go, wishbone. Mm, thank you, Ellen. Ah, the first sniff of the day. <sighs> what a gorgeous day. Can it be? Can it be? Yes! Spring is here. <gasps> ah. It's apparent in so many ways. Just look over there. Wanda's flowers are blooming. Romance is in the air. And, of course, everyone is playing America's favorite pastime. Play ball! <laughs> you know, my cheerleading days are over. I am ready to play. Yes, sir. This dog's got bases to run, homers to hit, and ground balls to fetch. Let's take a break. Yeah. Or we could take a break. Got to work on my timing. Hey, Wishbone. I'm telling you, David, you should have had us playing man to man. Come on, Joe. The game's over with. What's up, guys? Joe is still upset about the basketball playoffs. Mr. Barnes, we could have gone all the way. Coach Menendez let us down. That's all there is to it. Well, what can I say, Joe? Coach is never easy. Sure it is. If I was coaching, we would have won that game. Any good player can coach. Is that so? It's, uh, that simple. Yeah. Well, I'd be willing to give you a chance to prove it. You know, experience firsthand how the other half lives. Uh-oh. What do you mean? Emily's t-ball season just started, and I need an assistant coach. Just for a few practices until we play our first game. So what do you say, coach? You've got a deal. You don't know what you're in for. Ah, a wish has been granted. Joe the player becomes Joe the coach. Mark Twain wrote about two young boys who got what they wished for in The Prince and the Pauper, published in 1882. The story is set in London in the 16th century, during the reign of King Henry VIII. The first boy is born to a rich and royal family who wants him. The other boy is born to a poor family who does not want him. Our story begins just before they meet. Please, please, people, suffer a young pauper to steal a glimpse of the prince. Then my life might seem less wretched. It is he, the prince. So regal, so royal, so noble. Mind thy manners, thou young beggar. How darest thou use a poor lad like that? Open the gates and let him in. Thou lookest tired and hungry. Come with me. See you later, big guy. Please, be seated. What is thy name? Tom, sir. Tom Canty. And why art thou so frail and little? Mm, lousy food, beatings. Beatings? What can I say? It's dog eat dog out there, Prince. You understand? Yes, I suppose I should. Tell me, hast thou any pleasures? Mm, some, sir. We have Punch and Judy shows, monkeys, and there be plays. Tell me more. Well, in the summer, sir, we we swim in the river. Yes, 
and we dive in the water and shout like fools. <laughs> yes, but continue. And when we get really excited, we start to tumble. Ready? Go on. Go on. Well, we sing and dance and oh, in the mud. The mud, Prince. We do fairly wallow in the mud. Yes, yes, say no more. Tis glorious. If I could clothe me in raiment like thine and revel in the mud just once, I could forego the crown. And if I could clothe me once, sweet sir, as thou art, just once. Upon my word, young Tom, you look like me and I like you. We might even be confused. Maybe, but my tail's a little longer. <laughs> You're a fine fellow, Tom Canty. Please wait here a moment. I must have a word with that brutal guard. Oh, all right, but hurry back, Prince. <clears throat> I say, you there, I must express to you my profound disappointment. <laughs> you dare to laugh in the presence of... <clears throat> Come back soon. Beggar spawn! <laughs> I am the Prince of Wales! Oh, hail the Prince of Wales! <laughs> oh, the people salute your gracious highness! <laughs> Be gone, thou crazy rubbish! <laughs> your highness. Your presence is awaited in court. Oh, no. You misunderstand. I'm not if the... If you would, Your Highness. But I'm not the... Oh, no. They've got the wrong guy. All right, now listen up, Tigers. I want you to meet someone who's going to be helping us out. His name is Joe, and he's going to run today's practice. So I want you to give him your undivided attention, OK? Now, please, let's say hi to Joe. What can I say? The ladies love me. Sorry, Joe. Remember, Joe, five-year-old girls. Good afternoon, Tigers. We've got a lot to do, so we really need to focus. Wishbone. Uh-oh. Emily calls. <gasps> and this time, she's got a cookie. T-ball is a team sport. That means we have to work together. Okay, I've got to be very careful. By the time the season starts, we should be running like a machine. A well-oiled machine. Just take the cookie and walk away. So remember that all we have to do... Piece of cake! <laughs> Wishbone! Guys! Uh, hi. Uh, thank, thank you. Wait a Hey, easy there. Uh, thank you. It, you only see a cookie. It was a small one. Cookie. Uh, good luck, Joe! And throw the ball. Emily, what's wrong? You didn't throw it to me. next time it comes to Somebody call it! I got it, I got it! Oh, 
Got their attention, Joe. Now call them off. Okay, take a shot. Uh, straighten this arm and lower it a little. Uh, lower it just a little. You're doing fine. Try it again. Oh. <laughs> Poor Joe. Life as a coach isn't the easy life he thought it would be. Yep, Joe has had a rude awakening. It waxeth late. May it please your majesty to awaken. Uh, hello? Can I help you with anything? Commence the dressing. Ooh. Oh, listen, I can put on my own clothes. Please, your highness, to remain still while the dressing proceeds. Yeah, but... Ooh, your hands are cold! The dressing of the prince hath finished. Uh, is that you? Wait a minute. Can't you stay a while and play? Oh, games are not the order of the day, your highness. I shall return before dinner. Well, yeah, but... But what am I gonna do all day? Oh, Prince, where are you? I don't belong in these clothes. Hmm, what an interesting smell. Oh. Out to this time of day again and has not collected a farthing? If I don't break all the bones in thy lean body, then I'm not John Canty. Ah, the pauper's father. What great fortune. I order you to fetch your son and restore me to the palace immediately. Gone stark mad as any Tom of Bedlam. Stark Raven mad! <laughs> Unhand me! <laughs> I am the Prince of Wales! Mm -mm. My first royal meal. The food is certain to be superb. All right, let's go! <gasps> what a bone! Mm. So tasty. Mm. Mm. My fellow Englishmen, I come bearing news. King Henry is dead. Let the joy ring out, for tomorrow is the young Prince of Wales to be coronated king of this great land. <laughs> king? Suddenly I've lost my appetite. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! So, today's the big game. Are you excited? I'll be excited when it's over. I'm never coaching again. Come on, it can't be that bad. They're five-year-old girls. <laughs> They're barracudas, Ellen. Don't let them fool you. They're tough, Mom. I hate to admit it, but without Mr. Barnes, I'd never make it through this game. You'll be fine. I'll get it. Mrs. Barnes! Joe, I am so happy that you are still here. There's been a big change in plan. I need to rush Mr. Barnes to the airport. But we've got a game today. Sorry, honey. Last minute business trip. Mr. Barnes needs you to run the game. All by myself? Oh, you'll be great. Oh, and I need to leave Emily and Tina here with you. Girls, be good. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I'll see you at the game. Have fun. Fun? I'm supposed to have fun? <laughs> All right, Tigers, from what I hear, the Banshees are pretty tough this year. But if you just put your mind to it... Where's Wishbone? Wishbone's gonna watch the game from the stands today. We want him here. You guys need to concentrate now. You can see him after the game. <sighs> Exiled once again, forced to settle for cheerleader. Well, that's what you get for being too cute. This is a perfect day for the season opener. Oh, I'll say. Nice blue skies, calm spring breeze. You know, it's really very relaxing. Come on, Tigers! Clobber those banshees! Oh, look. It's Mr. King. <clears throat> so, how long is the game? One hour. Come on, Katie! Make Daddy proud! <laughs> There's one at every game. Bye. Uh -huh.
Okay, try it again. It's no biggie. Once more. Hey, don't cry. You're doing just fine. Someone help me. What's your strategy? Pardon me? I'm a concerned parent. I don't like what I see here. I don't like it at all. Oh, come on, Tigers! We can still win the war! Sir, I'm doing my best. It's harder than it looks. Don't try to tell me about dealing with kids. I'm a parent, young man. My daughter is out there. What's going on over there, Ellen? I don't know, but I don't like the looks of it. Neither do I. Joe needs me. I can tell. Oh, come on, Katie! Show him how it's done! For starters, we can change the line. Well, there goes the season. Why is this happening to me? Joe, your life as coach has hit rock bottom. But don't worry. You can still get out of this if you just stand tall. Stand forth, lad. Say thy foolery. Who art thou? I am Edward, Prince of Wales and none other. Oh, Tom, poor lad. He's a regular crazy one, he is. Oh, my child. Shake off this gruesome dream. Look upon me. Am not I, thy mother, that bore thee and loveth thee? God knoweth I am loath to break thy heart, but truly have I never looked upon thy face before. Oh, sir, he is more worn than is his wont. Tomorrow will he be himself again. Do not force him to go out and beg. Beg? I would not force such a thing. This lad'll steal for his supper. Come on. <laughs> well, your highness, can we expect a day a high profit? Follow thy trade. It befits thee, but I will neither beg nor steal. Why, then I'll... <laughs> Won't you stop to drink from the loving cup? In celebration. Take away thy hand. Let me pass. Nay, sir. Thou not pass till thou hast drunk to today's coronation of King Edward. King Edward? Coronation? Give me the cup. Please, sir. I've got to get back to the palace, get out of these clothes, and get back to my old life. Come back, mad fool! Stay out of my way. I'll get you out of this mess. Uh, sir, I appreciate your concern, but I'm handling it. How's it going, Joe? Are you having fun? Is everything okay, Joe? Yes, Mom. Oh, is it? Well, judging from looks at that scoreboard over there, I would say things are far from okay. Look, Buster. I don't know who you think you Ellen, are. Ellen, don't lose your temper. That's all they ever want. All right, it's getting ugly. This team needs a first base coach, and I'm the dog for the job. <coughs> Emily! Yoo-hoo! Gonna get you, Wishbone. Come on, sweetie! For the sake of the game, I'm yours. Ooh, thank you. Stay out of things, Well, lady. so if you think you can do this better than hey, my guys, son... look at this! 
Come on, Tina! Nice run. Wishbone's coaching first base. And starting a comeback. Time is running out. And bases are loaded. Who is this kid at bat? Why isn't Katie batting clean up? It's Carol. She's really shy, but I know she can do it. This is what you call team coaching! <laughs> Tigers win! Tigers win! No pictures, please. really came through. I'll say. Well, you did pretty okay yourself. So how does it feel now that your coaching days are over? It's a big relief. <laughs> you said a mouthful, pal. Where are you, Prince? I don't want to be king. I want my own clothes, my own house, my own bone. I forbid you to set the crown of England upon that head. I am the prince. Forbear! He is the prince! Heavens! They do look perfectly similar. As Lord Protector, I say there is only one sure test. Fetch each of them a sheet of parchment, and we will ask that they reproduce for us the royal seal. Whichever of the two draws the seal correctly is the real prince. That is reasonable. Gentlemen, begin the test. Now, let us see the result. You, sir? I'm already home. And you, sir. Only he that was Prince of Wales can so answer. Long live the king! Admitted show, it wasn't that bad. Yes, it was, but I survived. Joe, we want to thank you for being the best coach ever. Thanks. Uh, excuse me, girls? What about my reward? I hereby appoint you Honorable King's Ward. May you return to a life of dignity and honor. And may you accept this in remembrance of your service on behalf of this throne. Your most gracious majesty, I thank you. And this is for you, Wishbone. <gasps> An edible trophy! Mmm! Mmm! What will they think of next? Mmm! You know, this would go great with anchovies. The two went and stood side by side before a great mirror. And lo, a miracle. There did not seem to have been any change made. They stared at each other, then at the glass, then at each other again. How did we create Mark Twain's vision of a prince and a pauper that looked exactly alike? After all, we only have one superstar. We needed an editor's help. An editor puts together all of the pieces of film to tell the story. 
But how was the editor going to create two of me for this story? We created the illusion of two wishbones three different ways. First, we use a technique called split screen. In split screen, wishbone was photographed on one side of the picture. With the camera still in the same position, we changed his costume and photographed him in the opposite position. Then, when we edited the show together, we combined those two images electronically so it appeared that two wishbones were within the same shot. So with a split screen, one star plus one star equals two stars. What a deal. We also used another technique where we used a double, which is a dog that looks the same as wishbone. And we photographed that dog from behind so that we never could see that dog's face. Lie down, please. That's me on the floor. My double is working with me in this scene. He may look like me, but he can't match my charming personality. We never see my double's face, but we couldn't do the scene without him. The third method we use was simply photographing each dog in a single image, and by cutting those two together, made them appear as if they were looking at each other, when in fact it was the same dog in two different shots. Okay. If we remember the position of that, then we'll turn around and do the other side of it. Here I am doing double duty. First, they filmed me in the pauper's costume. Then, after a quick change, they filmed me in the prince's costume. The editor makes it look like I'm in two places at once. Heavens! They do look perfectly similar! The magic of editing is almost as exciting as Mark Twain's classic book. The Prince and the Pauper and other great books are available at your local library. Check them out!